coming home or coming break. I don't know. But nor you. It is very important to take care of our environment, not only for our personal good, but for the good of others. But this has become the motive of a new mission of the church, which has moved away from its religious pastoral mission and entered the UN agenda with sustainable development. So this is an evangelization more political and religious. If we consider that evangelization is to bring the gospel of Christ, but this has nothing to do with Christ. In fact, Laudato Si is a document that calls God's people to forget about God in order to enter into the idolatry of the common home, the love for Mother Earth, which includes so much worship that it brings us new guilt for ecological sins. What a foolish invention! What common house! God created man superior to creation. He made him from the dust of the earth, and to the earth he has to return because of his disobedience. Man must praise his creator and exalt him for his wonderful works. But at no time can he love them more than God. Matthew 22, verse 37. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. So there is no room left to put creation above God. All indigenous cultures that have not received the gospel of Christ worship Mother Earth, even offering rituals and human sacrifices in hopes of gaining life and prosperity from it. This worship is a cult of the devil, not of God. It is a cult to the creature, not to God the Creator. That is why Christ came into the world to teach us the way to God the Father and to make us children of God, new creatures not of dust but of light. Christ came to lift the baseness of our humanity out of the mud and mire of our spiritual poverty to elevate us to the kingdom of heaven, the true common home of the children of God. Christ is our home if we truly want to be saved. Psalms 122 verse 1. What a joy when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. The earth is not the house of the Lord. The true house of the Lord on earth are the souls that worship him. Isaiah 57 verse 15, For thus said the Most High, whose dwelling place is eternal and whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place, but also with the contrite and humble, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive contrite hearts. In eternity, God's home and our home is heaven, but heaven cannot be our home unless we first enter into Christ so to speak, of a common home of God's people united with all pagans and to direct spiritual energies toward it is a waste of time as well of, as being idolatrous. Jesus is the temple of humanity, for he begot all human beings during his incarnation so that all who believe in him can have eternal life. That is why he is the only way to the Father, John 14, verse 6 the only way to the heavenly home, the only heaven. The new religion that leads to seeking the common home is not religion, since religion means to bind us to God. So, to seek the common home on earth is to materialize ourselves, to look at matter as something greater than spirit. I define the earth as the common grave, not the common home because the earth is a cemetery of all the bodies of human beings. It is the place where our rottenness goes. It is nothing glamorous. All the black waters are right there. Earth is the place of our punishment, the world of the banished children of Eve. 
this valley of, full of tears, because original, originally man lived in paradise before his fall, because of sin. And to take care of the earth, we already had the governments that for some reason exploit us and have the duty to work to take care of our environment. Although in their corruption, they do not do so. On the other hand, the church has the duty to work, to care for our souls and to take us, not to the common earthly home, but to heaven. Because earthly men have their eyes on the ground, not on heaven. It is a misfortune that the church abandoned the care of souls to lead men to become idolatrous worshippers of Mother Earth. Instead of progressing, Bergoglio wants to lead humanity back to the indigenous culture that has no savior because it has, known, it has not known Christ. And let's analyze what false illusion this responsibility of becoming meticulous about the environment is preaching. And it is not that we should not take care of it, because it is the same as if we walk in our home in the middle of garbage. It is a common responsibility, but it is not to be taken to fanaticism. It is more important to take care of our inner temple, 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19, because we are temples of the Spirit, and God lives in us. The United Nations is concerned about global warming, and now the Church is part of that concern. But don't they realize that everything around us has to burn? Peter chapter 3, verse 10, 2 Peter, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief, and it will be very soon, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will be destroyed with fierce heat, and the earth and the works that are in it will be burnt up. Nothing will be left of the common grief. And global warming, like everything that happens to us, is part of God's will. Revelation 16, verse 8. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. Revelation 16, verse 9. They were scorched by the intense heat, and they cursed the name of God, who had control over this place. But they refused to repent and glorify him. Let us not seek so much to protect the common home, but rather to earn heaven, that we may enter into the house of God. True evangelism begins with repentance and conversion, no childish stories, fantasies about a common home. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.